What's up guys, NYKF31 here, Powerhouse Online Dynasty Season 6. Big game. Big, big game. Number one, Notre Dame. Number two, Michigan. Traditional rivals. From the bright lights of Notre Dame Stadium in a one verse two matchup. And this is a good contest. A very good contrast. My corners are on the young side. A bit inexperienced. Not great at man coverage as of right now. They're good at press. They're very good at zone, but they don't have the um, man coverage ability to match up with really um, strong receivers. Receivers with man coverage ratings in the low to mid 90s or you know high 80s. They're still on the green side. My front seven is really strong. Good pass rushers on the edges for my 3-4 stud nose tackle. Two good safeties. Boom! So all the ingredients are there for a intriguing one versus two matchup. Michigan draws first blood. I'm back on the attack, going five wide, getting sacked. <laughs> He's got a good pass rusher over there. I'm challenging those corners. I don't care how good they are. I'm going after them. Pop in the run. Timely runs. Our quarterbacks. His quarterback comes into the game as the Heisman Trophy front runner. Mine is number five. So you have all kinds of things at stake in this bad boy. On the march. Challenging the corner again on the deep comeback. Pop in the run again. Good rhythm going on. Don't like to look for the mid-screen there. So what do we do? We go empty. And we got one of our slot receivers, and we score. My mustached slot receiver. So Notre Dame shows complete and utter disrespect to Michigan's corners. And on the flip side, my guy gets absolutely mossed. Back on the march. Good move. Thankfully, he fumbles it out of bounds. Tried to pop the QB draw. We're going to get a holding penalty. Can't have too many of those. And I have no issue with running the ball out of these empty and um, five wide sets. You got to do it just to kind of keep people honest you don't want people just keying on the pass every time you show empty or five wide so I'll run my jet sweeps my QB blasts and draws and motion options I'll show a little offset from time to time just try to keep things going and in balance and there I disrespect the corners one time too many tough throw deep dig wide side of the field on a college field against a good corner that's that's asking a lot sweet I'm always happy when the option defense holds trying to run some contained stunts to keep him you know somewhat hemmed in and also to uh, make screens a little harder to throw and here's the problem we have this season in man coverage this is where our weakness is at but we hold up there. That's my best guy. My only senior corner. He gets it up, and it sails through the up. So, so far, both teams are holding serve. There's a contained stunt doing its thing on the screen. Let's get him off the field. Pressure. That's just my nose tackle blasting through. Sent some heat. Got free. Beat his man, and we fumble it right back. back to pass. Makes the grand pass. And I gotta spy his QB because his QB can really motor. They'll run the option. He laterals. 
His backs can really break tackles. <laughs> That's a heck of a run. The fact that he got anything out of that was freaking amazing. So I'm bending but not breaking. Hanging in there. Running my stuff. Just gotta try to avoid the turnovers. But these corners don't make it easy. I'm just trying to find the best matchup possible. And here the deep comeback gets covered, blanketed, and he makes me pay. And here's the thing about that. You know, I can't get angry when, you know, corners of this caliber make plays when they're better than the receiver running the route. Now, we do know that route mirroring exists in the game. And that's the way the game um, translates good man coverage. It's not nearly the horror show it was last season. Um, I can throw all kinds of routes that I couldn't throw last year versus man coverage. And in Madden, the route mirroring effect is less than it is in this game. So, you know, we see the route mirror effect gradually fading away into oblivion. It'll be a great day when it's gone from the game entirely. Hopefully it's soon or close to it. Pressure just misses getting there. But, you know, until that happens, you're going to get plays like that where the game translates good man coverage into a route mirror. But on the flip side, you know, the corners are that good. So, it's a catch-22 either way. <laughs> and there I win one. 23-7, can't let the game get too far away from me here. A little bit of a jet sweep. And I can run jet sweep. I can run a motion option or a um, read option out of that formation. Back to five wide trio. And I miss that guy X late. The worst thing about doing videos is when you go back and edit them, you're like, dang, I miss this play. I miss that play. I could have covered that guy. You know, you just see all the plays that you left on the field or had a chance of making. But I keep it to a two-possession game, despite the fact that I've thrown a couple of picks and have fumbled. And he's played a pretty mistake-free game so far. And I've got my zones on conservative, willing to concede the underneath for now. He just has too much time to throw. I'm doing too many contained stunts now. And he extends the lead. So I got to keep on scoring. got to match it. Nice throw there. Face mask penalty would have been nice. And here's an even better throw. Thank goodness for quarter pass of 95 accuracy. And another holding penalty. Turnovers and penalties are hurting the Irish. I decided to kick the field goal. There's no really need to take a risk here this early in the fourth quarter. Just take the points. My D is not playing bad. I just got to stop turning the ball over. That's really it. Only rushed three that time. Had a spy there. Found someone. Got to tighten up now. That doesn't help the cause at all. You got a bit of a risk with a bam blitz. And we hold. Hold him to three. Now I got to pretty much play flawless football from here on out. Can't fool around anymore. Thank you, accurate quarterback. <laughs> Strong arm, strong accuracy. And that's just pretty. Pump fake wide side, hit the backside streak. Backside fade. So I'm still in it. Just staying patient, two possession game. Now I gotta stop him. And he's starting to, you know. Gain some pretty good yards on the ground, so I gotta take a little bit, I gotta take more risks. 
and try to get him off the field here. Third and nine, and we stop the, um, it's either a QB wrap or a zone read, one of the two. So I have my chance, and on this play, I'm looking to the right side all the way here, but my first read, a second read, gets stoned, and I throw late backside. I should have gone to the drag and stayed patient, but no. But you know what? In the heat of the game, the game is getting late. Got to get the ball downfield. I forced a throw I shouldn't have. Should have either hit the drag or thrown it away. But, you know, I'm only human. We all make mistakes. So, number one goes down. Hopefully I don't drop too much. I have user games versus Ohio State, um, Oregon, and USC. Got to run the table. Hope I can climb up the rankings, get some help along the way, and go from there. So, that's pretty much it for this game. Good game by him. Well played game by him. Turnovers and penalties hurt the Irish big time. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.